Hey everyone, welcome back to our Mars Bus. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can download and install the latest version of the Tiles and Executor on your laptop or PC without the need for any unnecessary stuff. So guys, this is a very cool, simple and easy tutorial and today I will be showing you guys how you can do this with the BlueSex emulator. Yes guys, for this we will be using an Android emulator and the reason is because Delta does not have an official PC version and therefore we have to use this. Now if you find a PC version that claims to be dedicated, I can guarantee that it is infected with malware. That's why we use the emulator to prevent any stuff. As you guys know, Delta has official APK versions and we use those files to actually be able to run it right here. So guys, I have tested it on the uh, Mew Mew Player one, which is my personal favorite. Uh, if you guys want this, just check out the previous video, it has that as well. And uh, yeah, there's a bunch of tweaks and stuff for it as well. However, today guys, we're going to be using BlueStacks right here. You guys, simply search up BlueStacks like I did to search for it, and then it should pop up right here. Let's simply open the website. So as you guys can see, it should be right here. Now guys, here you will see there's a bunch of stuff. It's still good, just you can see, see all versions. And then simply hit on download BlueStacks. So then yeah guys, simply go to see all versions. Now there are a bunch of different ones and it all depends on how your, uh, the specs of your laptop or PC. Now guys, I'm gonna just be using the uh, Android 11 one because I mean, yeah, it is the most stable-ish one I believe. And uh, Roblox also works on Android 11 as well. So you can choose which one you want to use depending on your um, your laptop PC spec. Uh, Nougat is a bit lighter, I do believe. But yeah, I'm gonna just download this version right here. Okay guys, so once you have found the version you want, just download it and then simply you will get the file right here. And simply launch it right here. Now here simply hit on yes. Now it should begin checking the system. And now here you can change the the program where you want it to uh, download. I'll just keep it on my desktop. Just hit OK. And I'll simply hit on agree and then install it right here. Boys, let's wait for this to finish. Okay, yeah, so as you guys can see, after waiting for a while, it should be a uh, kind of installed right here. So for now, we just, just wait for it to start up right here. And uh, yeah, it is very similar to um, Mew Mew Player Pro. So um, yeah, it is pretty cool as well. So uh, let's go into settings just to show you guys a few of the stuff you need to change. So memory allocation, just put it at the highest that your laptop can do. I guess I'll just do 12.065, that's the highest supported. CPU allocation, just do the highest amount if you want to. Or just put it at 6 at bottom too. So yeah, enable high frame rate if you have a higher end uh, laptop or PC. Otherwise just keep it at 60. Performance mode, I want high performance. And all depends on whatever you uh, have. You can enable VSync and uh, I'm not really going to do that. So let's just put it at 144. The display. Okay. Uh, okay, just hit on save changes right here. And then restart the emulator really quickly. And as you guys can see, the icon for it is right there. Now let's wait for this to load up once again. Now there are other emulators such as Game Loop as well. So if you guys want an alternative to the alternative, then that would be easy enough as well. And you can change the display settings if you want to. And uh, yeah, there isn't really, it's only, all of this just depends on your uh, PC. Um, uh, specs and stuff so just uh, put it as whatever is comfortable with you and uh, yeah so here guys you're gonna go here and then just hit on the home button right there so now guys all you have to do is simply open the link in the description and then download the Delta APK file right here now simply open it once again and then you will see that there is an icon on our right which has like an APK right here and then simply select the APK file and then we are able to directly import it right here. 
So simply open the link in the description on your laptop browser. This goes there and then you will be redirected to that. So now you guys should see that it should begin installing the app right there. So just give it a second. So yeah, other than that guys, it's pretty much the same as new player. Nothing really else that different. And I think I'm gonna change nothing now. So yeah, let's open Roblox just to show you guys that it actually works. Yeah, you can play in full screen if you want to. And uh, here simply allow the file access. We go back. Now it should come over here. Now simply sign in with your robot. And uh, yeah, as you guys can see, I have logged in. Now guys, uh, the emulator itself is not slow. My Wi-Fi is just quite slow. So that's why it's taking a bit longer to load. So don't think that it's the emulator that's slow. It's actually just a Wi-Fi connection. But yeah, guys, it is working perfectly. You guys open any game you want to and then run it for a bit. You should see that the emulator is working perfectly. And uh, yeah, that all we have to do is get the key for it as well. And then it should work perfectly. Anyways, guys, I think I'm going to end the video here because of the Wi-Fi connection. But yeah, if you guys want to see that it actually works, uh, it should work. I guarantee it will work. Uh, uh, if you guys want an alternative emulator, just check out my previous video on the Mimi Player 12 right here. And that boys, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. We are getting closer to 8,000 subscribers, so I would immensely appreciate it if you guys would subscribe. Anyways boys, hope you're having a good one. Bye.